Welcome to It's Your Date with Destiny with Apostle Vivian and Pastor Gemma Duncan of Divine Destiny Worship Center in Diego Martin. For the next 30 minutes, join us as we take you on a journey of maximizing your potential and realizing your goals through Jesus Christ. Whether it's on a Sunday, Tuesday, or Friday, or any other day of the week, a warm welcome awaits you at Divine Destiny Worship Center, a place where your full potential is discovered. Here's a special invitation to join us at our sanctuary. One, one of the artists, gospel artists, internationally known for worship songs, has written a song called blessing upon blessing i want you to listen to a verse of it because for the entire month of july we'll be doing a series called blessing upon blessing We have my wife, Apostle Gemma, and all the covenanters at Divine Destiny Worship Center, the House of Champions, welcoming you to this program. It's your date with destiny, the television arm of our media ministry. A few weeks ago, I was in the garden. I call the garden Eden. That's where I meet with God and, of course, produce some of the richest vegetables amen and the lord said to me when you go to church tonight over the last few months you've been preaching heavy duty messages deliverance and casting out demons and and healings and and so on he said when you go to church tonight i want you to bless my people and he began to open up to me what blessings really mean and while I'm getting my clothes ready, I'm hearing a song. Every time I look behind, I see blessings running me down. And uh, when I checked it out, the title of the song is Blessing Upon Blessing. And we decided to start a little series, well, it's expanding, called Blessing upon blessing and we would share it with you for this entire month. call up somebody and tell them apostle vivian is on the television releasing a word called blessing upon blessing amen with a praise with a shouting mama 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 telling you i ain't going down so i'm pushing back i'm not going down so i'm pushing back Even when those who you help are the ones that want to incarcerate you. Tell your neighbor, don't cry. Don't sigh. 
push back. Turn your pain into praise. Yeah. So David said, I was a, a reproach among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors. Boy, that's the worst one in the boy. And I fear to my acquaintance, even people who knew me, don't want to come close to me. They that did see me outside, run from me, boy. They fled. And verse 12, he says, I'm forgotten as a dead man out of my mind. I am like a broken vessel. But get down to verse 15. What does it say? Verse, uh, ver go verse 14 first. My times. Let's go it again. My times. My seasons. My years. My days. Anything that has to do with time. Anything that has to take time to come to me. It's in God's hand. But because... God made me in his image and likeness. It's in my belly. Put your hand on your belly. I prophesy to you that you're going to begin to do like the sons of Issachar. You'll just have a, a sense in your belly. Something will shift in your belly. Like a real prophet. Something will shift in your belly. Just as God is ready to put another blessing upon you. As when he's ready to manifest another blessing. You're going to have a kind of uneasiness. Like a woman when she's ready to deliver. She knows exactly when. Doctor could say what he wants. But she knows something inside there. Something in me so deep, so strong. And I prophesy you will never abort another blessing. I say I prophesy you shall never abort another blessing. I prophesy to you, you shall never abort another blessing. Another move of God inside of you. Another wave of his glory. You shall never cut it short. You shall never bring it forth before it's time. But I decree there is a time called the fullness of time. Tell your neighbor the fullness of time. It's right here. It's right here. Woosha. Woosha ta. Woosha. Woo. Somebody go, yeah, yeah, boosha. Whatever you need to tell God. Woosha, mama. Woosha, mama, masa. Urabashata. Woosha, karabasha. Nea, masara. Me Rabasa. Because I'm putting a bulldozer in somebody's belly right now. There's too much blockage in your life. Too much blockage. He said, I'm putting a bulldozer. He said, you don't need an angel to come and do it. The angel came down and brought it for you. You need to use that bulldozer. Time to clear some people from your pathway. I said, time to clear out some dead people too. I said, they're dead already. Clear them out. Clean your landscape. Re clean your mindscape. Too many dead bodies in your mind. Too many dead plans in your mind. Too many things you set out to do and you fail. And it's still in the, in the landscape of your mind. It's bulldozing time. You see, knowledge is power. That's why David says, not David, Daniel, the people that do know their God. The people who are constantly updating their files on God. They shall be strong. Do exploits. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Let's at least get the first two verses, three verses of Leviticus 26. Bring up Leviticus 26. Hmm. Tell a neighbor, say neighbor, one of the flaws, one of the weaknesses, and again you have a big word, one of the idiosyncrasies of mankind is that when you're not blessed, you run after God. 
My God, God see your face every day. God hear your voice every day. You sing about God. You read Bible. You look for book that written about God. You look for recordings about God. You go on Facebook looking for God. You go on YouTube looking for God. Ask your neighbor, what does happen when people get blessed, boy? And that's why, boy, maybe, not maybe, that's why God, God just shuts down the blessing plan. Because there's a tendency in mankind to do what? Turn what he blessed you with into a God. Into an idol. If you know he want to bless us, but he saying, what are you going to do with the blessing? The motor car you're waiting for. Are you going to dedicate it to his service? The husband you're waiting on. Is he going to become your God? The wife you're waiting on. Will you be worshipping her? Can't do what God wants you to do because you're afraid she. All the time you didn't have one. You are God's boy. You were God's girl. God just tell you, go so, you go so. Do so, you do so. Now you, you, now you have to tell God, but God, remember you gave me a wife? Remember you gave me a husband? And Lord, the fact is, I wait so long. You know, long my sister married that she younger than me. Lord, now that I have him, I don't want to lose it. <laughs> So Lord, uh, uh, if you want to go, oh, you oh. On Sunday, I go in with him, Lord. I don't want him to go somewhere. Oh, you oh. <laughs> and then somebody else get him so. <laughs> no, no, Lord. So Lord, tell, tell a person, I are there in the spirit. <laughs> Tell him to come to church. Tell him to bring him to church. Bring her to church. Lord, you're no longer waiting for a baby. No, Lord, I don't have a baby. Lord, I don't want him to cry in church. So I'm going to stay home. Hello, even the sparrow and the swallow was smart. They make the nest in the altar. Well, uh, the janitor need to be fired. But anyway, anyway. <laughs> They raised their young in the altar. Every sermon apostle preach, them birds heard it, boy. And listen, uh, uh, apostle didn't even mind that they're making noise. Tweet, 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 tweet. While he's, while he's preaching, he know that they're saying glory, glory. Those were the most well-behaved birds. When they fly out, they came back in. They didn't go and lie, man. Hello. <laughs> Tell the neighbor when... Well, who's the, who's the neighbor that need a child here right now? Once you're married, you, you need a child right now. Uh, 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 tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, when you get that child, remember who gave the child to you. Because suddenly some people get uh, uh, dizzy. And some people, when well, well, they get married, they have a thing they call Tutul Bay. You ever about Tutul Bay? <laughs> it will be interesting to gather all those words and go and find out where they come from and what they really mean. But somehow, total bay means total bay. Yeah, 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 fine. So, <laughs> yeah, they get stupid, they get dotish. So, give back the verse there. Give back the verse there. So here God's saying to us, I sent my servant, I, I gave him a mandate tonight to bless you. I told him to come and bless you. Ask your neighbor, why I, have you been blessed tonight? Amen. Well then say, Lord, I receive it. I possess it. And I shall walk in it. Tell us, say, Lord, Lord all, I need all I need is a chance, is a chance to, prove to prove 
that blessings wouldn't spoil me. Hallelujah. I'm sure you want to be part of this blessing that God is pouring out. But if you are not saved, you need to come back to God. And you are listening to the perfect program. Because in this program, we are declaring to you, come to church. If you are backslidden, we want you to come back to church. Because if you have unplugged from God, then the blessing that's supposed to be upon blessing is going to just fall flat. Amen. I'm going to anoint my hand with oil right now. And I'm going to declare to you, come to church. Come back to church in the name of Jesus. Just in the anointing oil, uh, God gave us a mandate to mix this oil with the same ingredients like Moses did in the wilderness to anoint the priests and to anoint the furniture and so on. And we anoint our hands every time we come and stretch forth. And we are decreeing at this point that God is waking up a passion in you for being where he is. So Lord, we speak to the person who once tasted of the power of God and because of some crazy thing that happened in his life or her life or in the church where he or she used to attend, they walked away. I prophesied to that person, you prodigal son, come to church. Come back to church. Church, and even someone who used to come to Divine Destiny, which is under your viewing me right now, come back to church. Cut the sourness, cut the, the, the peeving, and say, God, you saved me. I don't want to disappoint you. And if you have not yet given your life to Jesus, I declare to you, come to Jesus and come to church. Every inhibition is broken. Every argument is dispelled right now. In Jesus' name, amen. And I prophesy to you, when you come, you shall receive blessing upon blessing upon blessing. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Good. Uh, that feels good. I, I'm sure you're feeling good too. Yes. God has received you. But you need to be in his house. Amen. Good. So, we have been experiencing some powerful moves of God at Divine Destiny. Every time we have a service, I mean, it's just crazy. Just crazy. Recently, we had a service uh, in, in which the power of God was so strong. Our son, Donnell, he preached. But the worship, the worship was off the chain. Uh, the, there was, uh, for a long time, that mantle for composing. On the spot, didn't show up. And on that service, that's what God did. I got to ask our technician to just give us a little snippet of that service that took place in the month of June. And that's why you will want to come to church. Amen.
and we will say, and we will say, and we will say that you are God, and all the miracles you've done, and God is yours, and we are changed, and all the hope we have, they sing you right now. Tell them again, and we will say, and we will say, we will say that you are God, all the miracles you've done, and we will and it, oh, tell him again and I will say Lord and I will say that you are oh Jesus you died brought me joy and I am changed oh, and all the hope I have I'm to him Father Father we declare how we Special grace, special anointing, special fire, healing power in your hands, in your feet, in your mouth, in your eyes. Receive a booster shot, a booster shot, a fire in your belly, river shot, river day. Again, we can die. Yeah. That we love you. The wind of God blows the fire. The wind of God blows a fire in this house right now. With your hands lifted up, catch the wind, catch the fire. Rio Claro, Sangre Grande, Antigua, Pfizer Bad, Tobago, Chaguanas, Fire, Multipurpose. Yeah. Good. We are on the radio as well. We love to have a presence in the media. And we are on 98.1 every Monday at 9 p.m. with It's Your Date with Destiny. And on a Tuesday, we are on 107.1, The Word, with Living the More Abundant Life at 9.30 p.m. And on a Friday, of course, we are on and our uh, signature program, the Ask Pastor Gemma, at 3 p.m. on 98. Point one. And of course, you know, we are on the social media platforms, especially on Facebook and on YouTube. You can see the address there. You can go on and log into any of our services that we have had for many years and see what God does when we come into his presence with a hunger. Amen. And of course, if you cannot come physically to any of our branches, you can log in to our online feed every Friday night, every Sunday, and your life will not be the same. Again, we guarantee you that. Amen. Everybody shine your light. Shine bright so the whole wide world will know that we are kingdom. Everyone that I meet, I can give a smile. Doing the School of the Apostles was one of the best things I could have done for my Christian work. It has given me such a wider knowledge of what the Kingdom of God is all about. And also it has actually stirred a passion in me to learn more. So it has actually sent me to my Bible now to research and to un get a better understanding of what I believe in. This is something I'll highly recommend to anybody, whether you're a new believer in Christ or you've been saved for years. This is something that you will not regret doing. I am from right here, Revival Fire Apostolic Center. Uh, my experience here has been amazing. Uh, School of the Apostles is one that I would challenge people to, to not only attend in the future, but to really chew on the word is so revelatory and um, it's just life-changing for me, especially um, 
going to an apostolic prophetic church, uh, it echoes exactly who we are and echoes exactly who we need to be. So I encourage you to be a part uh, whenever necessary and have fun. Man, good. And our youths, our youths, our youths, they have come into the month of July and they have a powerful invitation for you to their program for towards the end of July. Light it up, the worshiper in you. Look at the promo right now. Light up is shine, yeah. If you're not ready for your change, come follow me, no, 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 no. Only hear me now. Me put a fire to burn. Burn every negative vibes. We try to discharge the minds of the children. Cause they're hard. As I laugh and I remember Aaron, it's always make us laugh. You remember Aaron? Which Aaron? From Youth Ministry. Yes, Aaron Joseph, of course. Kill, okay, but look how long we see Aaron. No, we see him in months. And we have our youth conference coming up. Okay, we should invite him. Call him. Call him. Two thousand years later. Six and a half hours later. A few inches later. Day two, day three, day four. A few moments later. You're watching the right here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Anyways, as we were saying, we are having a youth conference from July 24th to the 27th. During the week starting from 6.30 and on Saturday from 4.30. This is Saturday. We're going to be having something called Spoke Doves. Spoken word plus orders with a hint of jazz effects <laughs> and we are also having during the week specially invited ministers to minister the word and a few guest artists as well so what? you're in for a treat so you don't want to miss this event huh? yeah i come in i invite everybody all my friends and saying we vibe in church yes <laughs> yes so what we're telling everybody Light it up, you worship a enemy. See you there. Shine your light, I beg you, shine your shine your light and See one by one by one, shine your light them up. Let's kick evil out of town, yeah. See one by one by one. Next time on Divine Destiny Worship Center's program, this program, it's your date with destiny. You will here. Your times are in my hands, and I have decreed that this is your blessing time. You have, for the last two years, you've been hearing word about deliverance and witchcraft and all of that. It will still come, but I want you to know you are blessed and highly favored. I want you to know, as long as you promise me, you will not turn my blessings into idols. I'm going to bless your socks off. Then I'm going to bless your shoe. I'm going to bless you. Sew so the ends of your pants. And I'm going to bless it too. So there it is. We have come to the end of another program. Until we meet again, I'm Apostle Vivian Duncan. On behalf of my wife, Apostle Gemma, and all the covenanters of Divine Destiny Worship Center, the House of Champions, declaring to you, you began life as a winner. Don't live it as a victim or die as a loser. You are a God idea because when God made you, he had, yes, destiny on his mind. God bless you until we meet again. Amen. Continue to reach your goals through Jesus Christ. This has been It's Your Date with Destiny, a production of Divine Destiny Media Ministry. Until next time, you began life as a winner. Don't live life as a victim or die as a loser. For when God made you, he had destiny on his mind.